Hi, Dr. Heather here from Wellspring Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. Movement benefits everything. There's so many studies that show the importance of movement for musculoskeletal health, that we're stronger and faster and have a strong core. But we also know that there's studies that show the importance for metabolic health, our cardiovascular system, our respiratory system, our blood sugar levels, all of that is helped from exercise. But the newer research is really showing the benefits in our neurology, in our brain, our cognition, our memory, our learning, and in our overall optimum wellness. Movement is essential for all of that. In fact, Dr. John Rady, the author of Spark, he says this, the primary purpose of movement and activity is to develop and condition the brain. So the brain is part of the whole nervous system, and the nervous system is a complex system that includes the brain, the spinal cord, and miles of nerves that travel all over the body. The nervous system is the master control of everything, and movement is essential to help the body come back to an equilibrium or a balance. We live in such a frenetic, frantic lifestyle, and we're always on the go, going, going, going. We're always in that fight or flight on mode, and that is a stress state. And movement is the thing that helps us to recalibrate, to reset back to rest and repair. It brings us back to equilibrium, and that is essential for health, not just for our brain, but our overall optimum health as well. The cerebellum is the part of the brain that watches movement all the time. And there's a body sense that we have, which is called proprioception, and it's the idea of knowing where your body is in space. And this body sense actually delivers more data to the brain than all the other senses combined. So when we're getting good input from the body to the brain, that's proprioception. And the brain, when the brain has a clear sense of where the body is in space, then it can move the body and adapt to things. But if we lose any sense of proprioception, then the body's going to go into a stress response. So when we're sedentary and not moving, or when we're moving with dysfunctional movements, or we get locked up or in a tense state, then we start to lose proprioception. What also happens is we start to get noxious signals going to the brain. We call it nociception. Nociception is kind of like static on the line. So a lack of proprioception and an increase in nociception, they both increase stress in the body. And when we're in a stress state, then we are setting ourselves up for chronic illness and disease. So when we can turn that stress switch off, we can use movement to do that, to reset back to rest and repair. When we don't do that and we have our joints that are in a locked up state, a fixed state, either as the result of traumas or bad habits, poor posture, that sets us up for something called subluxation. Subluxation is, can occur in any joint in the body, but it's the most devastating impact when there's subluxations in the spine because that's where the nerves are going right up to the brain. And if we have subluxations, it includes uh, a locking up of that joint, inflammation, irritation to the nervous system. And again, that just sets us up to be in a stress response. Chiropractors are the professionals that know how to identify and correct subluxations. And so having really good spinal hygiene is a best practice to have really good posture, to be moving your body and keeping it fluid. And to getting your spine checked by a chiropractor is also a best practice. Dr. James Chestnut also has a best practice of when you get into your car, sit in your best posture and then adjust your mirrors with that best posture. And then after that, whenever you get into the car, don't readjust the mirrors, readjust your posture. That's good spinal hygiene on an ongoing basis. Your brain and your body expect and require movement for health, for life. So go to it. 